Consider this right triangle. We know that the lengths of the legs are 10 and 24 units. But we don't know what the length of the hypotenuse is. Remember, the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle in a right triangle. We're going to use that theorem of Pythagoras to help us figure that out. Remember what that theorem says. If we label the hypotenuse C, which is always the way it's labeled, and we label the legs A and B, remember the formula says that C squared is always equal to A squared plus B squared. We can always find any one of the lengths if we know the other two. So let's put the values in for A and B. Now let's use our calculator to evaluate if we need to, which we may not all the time. 10 squared is 100. Take our calculators and find out what 24 squared is. 24 times 24. That gives us 576. So C squared is equal to 676. And remember, as you've learned before, whenever we are looking for what number can we square that produces some value, we can always figure out what that number is by taking the square root of this value. So in this case, c squared equals 676. So c can be found by taking the square root of 676. So you take your calculator, clear the display, Put in 676, use your square root function, and we find that C, the length of that hypotenuse, would be 26 units. And we use that theorem of Pythagoras to figure out the length of that missing side of this right triangle.